Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm in a football court. I've got this flat ball, need to bump it up, but it's called a sensory football. Listen to this, ready? I don't know how well you heard that, but it's pretty loud. This ball is for visually impaired people, so people that are blind, have problems with their eyes, uh, so they can play football with a football. So the way it works is it's meant to be a bit slower than a normal football. It stops quicker, doesn't move as fast, and it's got stuff in it so you can hear it. So let's pump it up and test it out. Let's go. So the ball is now pumped. Definitely a lot louder than before it was pumped. I'm going to stick around for the end of the video where I'm going to cut this ball open and find out what's inside. Alright guys, so let's do a bounce test against a normal football. I think it's safe to say this one weighs a lot more and has next to zero bounce. Right, so we've worked out there's literally no bounce in this whatsoever, but do they roll similar? Let's see. No, they don't. So, so clearly the sensory football stops pretty quick, whereas the other ball is still moving until it hit the wall at the end. This one, it weighs a ton. Right guys, so I've done two dynamic tests for the football just to see the way it moves and stuff. Now I'm gonna actually try and kick it. So I'm gonna try and hit the crossbar, see what happens. Let's go. That was it. I was finished. I was done. Wow, I really overhit that as well. Like if I hit this ball like that, that would have gone. Now it's time to test the Premier League football. Crossbar. <laughs> first time. Yeah, I hit the crossbar first time with this one. The other one was on the ground. I'm gonna have a couple more attempts with the other one, see if I can work out how to do it. But we're gonna see. Uh, let's test it and find out this guy. If you ever find yourself doing a crossbar challenge with one of these sensory footballs, I recommend you either drop kick it or scoop it. Okay, so for this next test, I've got a massive jumper here because I didn't have a blindfold. I'm gonna blindfold myself and see how it is to dribble because the reason it's so heavy is so the ball doesn't get far away from you whilst you're dribbling. So obviously if you can't see, you're not having to run 100 meters to find the ball every time you kick the ball. So this one's designed to stay close to your foot. Basically, you should be Lionel Messi without a blindfold. But I'm going to try the blindfold because I've seen some blind footballers play with this ball and it's beyond me. They're unbelievable. How they do this is crazy. So I'm going to put myself to the test to see how it works. Let's go. Put my foot on the ball to start. I'm going to try and dribble to the goal and back. If I can get some step overs in, even better.
so I'm not sure not sure how much of that I stayed in the camera but uh, yeah it's harder than I expected so uh, I'm going to do it one more time So what I learned is that the noise helps way more than I expected to help because I thought my sense of hearing is actually awful like working out where things are. If you actually concentrate on the noise you can, you can work out where it is so I'm going to give it a little go with the non-sensory foot, we'll see how I can dribble blindfolded with that, I have a feeling it's be harder but then I'm also used to it so we'll see. So yeah, within seconds I've noticed that dribbling blindfolded with a normal football is near on impossible unless you keep it really close to your feet and it's, it's, it goes away straight away. I did try to dribble with a bit more pace, obviously if I went really slowly or walked then I probably could have kept the ball but I wanted it to be a fair test, I wanted to see how well I could dribble so not very well. So just going to test my first touch, this should be easy because it stops anyway. to impress someone with your first touch, get one of these footballs. So I'm just going to have a little kick around, see how So the next test I'm going to do with this is the keep it up test. I'm not looking forward to this because this ball moves very weird but let's try it out. Alright let's go again. That's a lot more but I'm going to try and for Throw a couple around the world in, maybe an enigma. Uh, see what I can do. Like, probably not, but let's try. You can see how many headers I can do. Probably going to hurt my head, but let's go. Headers are impossible. I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to try some headers with the uh, normal football now. Let's go. Right guys, I'm going to go home now. I'm going to cut this ball up and see what's inside. Um, I have no idea what it is. It sounds like beads or something, but one last crossbar challenge before we go. Oh, so close. Right guys, I'm now home with the sensory football. I'm going to cut it open to see what's inside, to see what this ball is all about. Let's do this. There it goes. Oh, it's tough this ball. 
really tough. Got the scissors now. This is a better shower. Much better idea. So we've cut this ball right open now. Let's, uh, it's all attached on the inside. Alright, so we've now got it apart. So, whoa, they're metal balls. So yeah, guys, this is what is inside. They're metal balls, as you can see. If I bounce one on here, they bounce a lot more than the ball does. So guys, that is the end of this video. That's what's inside. This football is now empty. We've got the, the plastic casing with the metal balls inside. Yeah, it's uh, that, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please smash it a big thumbs up. I'm also going to be trying out a few different footballs, which are, are weird footballs as well. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, please subscribe if you're new, like the video, and I'll see you again with another video very soon. Peace.